In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all the apostles of prayer, and in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father for this month. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Bago ang lahat, uh, ang uh, pinaalam namin sa inyo na meron tayong, uh, meron tayong uh, YouTube channel, Sense of the Sacred. Uh, subscribe lang po at uh, i-click ang notification bell. Ang lahat po ng ating mga meditations sa Sacred Heart of Jesus ay uh, ina-upload po doon sa nasabing channel. At kung uh, nagustuhan po ninyo ang session na ito ng uh, ating meditations, like and share po. Okay po? Uh, ngayon po ang ikalabing limang araw ng uh, ating pagninilay sa mahal na puso ng ating Panginoon. At uh, ang, ang pagninilay natin ay isinulat uli ni Lansperjus sa mga... Uh, hindi nakaka uh, hindi naabutan ang uh, ating sinabi sa kanya siya ay isang Carthusia na monk na namuhay sa pagitan ng eight, ng 1489 at 1539 ang uh, ang ating uh, ang ating uh, uh, meditation sa araw na ito ay pinamagatang come to the heart of Jesus pumunta sa magtungo sa puso ng ating Panginoon. At ang text ay uh, John, uh, Gospel of St. John, chapter 20, verse 25. And put my hand into his side. Ito, ay, uh, uh, ito ang uh, uh, sinabi ni St. Thomas nung ibinalita sa kanya ng mga alagad na muling nabuhay ang Panginoon at nagpakita sa kanya. Ang sabi ni St. Thomas, I will not believe until I probe with my fingers the nail prints of his hand and put my hand into his side. So ang sabi ni, ni Lanspergius, uh, itaas daw natin ang ating puso at diwa uh, uh, hanggat maari as, as often as possible. And let us cast our heart and our mind into the amiable heart of Jesus, into this heart which is indeed divine. Since according to the Apostle, in Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead corporally. Ito po ay halaw sa a uh, letter saint paul to the colossians chapter 2 verse 9 in christ dwells corporally all the fullness of the divinity and so the sacred heart of jesus uh, is also divine yes it is a human heart but because In Christ dwells the fullness of the divinity. Therefore, the heart of Christ is also divine. And we should cast our heart and our mind into it because through this same heart, we can all have access to our Heavenly Father. Okay? Through uh, this heart, we can have access to the Heavenly Father. And so, uh, ang, ang mungkahi niya, uh, let us practice interior recollection. 
Okay. Tatandaan natin uli what we have said again and again in past in past meditations. The Sacred Heart of Jesus is the Master of Interiority. Okay. Siya ang tagapagturo, eksperto sa mga bagay na may kinalaman sa buhay espiritual. The master of the interior life. Okay? So practice interior recollection and enter in spirit into the heart of Christ who said, Come to me. All you that labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you. Now, ang sabi niya ay, uh, the heart of Jesus contains all virtues in their highest perfection. So, tinataglay daw ng puso ng ating Panginoon ang lahat ng kabutihan, all virtues, ang lahat ng kabutihan uh, to the highest degree of perfection. So, in the heart of Jesus, we find mercy, justice, peace, grace, salvation, the fountain of life, perfect consolation, and the true light which enlightens all men, especially those who seek for help in their trials and necessities. So, sa puso daw ng ating Panginoon, all virtues in their highest perfection are found. Okay? Mercy, justice, yeah. si, tingnan nyo to ha, mercy, Justice, not just mercy, but also justice. Not just not just justice, but also mercy. So, wag nating kalilimutan. It is it is true. No, we are we have this devotion, this new devotion to the divine mercy. Totoo yan. But remember that the mercy of Christ does not exclude the justice of Christ. Because whether we like it or not, He will come again to judge the living and the dead. In the same way, justice, the justice of Christ, does not exclude the mercy of Christ. Okay? So, In, in the sacred heart of our Lord, you find mercy. It burns out of love for us. But also justice. The instruments of the passion which decorate the heart of Christ, the crown of thorns, the cross surmounting it, the wound caused by the lance, all of these indicate the justice of God which our Lord Jesus satisfied by the offering of His very life upon the wood of the cross. So, both mercy, justice, peace, grace, salvation, fountain of life, perfect consolation, and true light which enlightens all men, lalo tigit those who seek for help in their trials and necessities. If you think you are being oppressed by your trials, if you think you are being oppressed by your necessities, then the Lord Jesus says, Come to me. Come to me, all you who labor and, are, and find life burdensome and I will refresh you. So in short, we receive all that we can desire from this heart. Lahat daw ng hahangarin natin, lahat daw ng mahahangad natin, ay matatanggap natin mula sa mahal na puso ng ating Panginoon. And 
every blessing or grace bestowed upon us comes from it. Okay? Ang lahat daw ng pagpapala, ang lahat daw ng biyaya na ipinagkakaloob sa atin ay nanggagaling sa kanyang mahal na puso. The heart of Jesus is, the, is a furnace of divine love. Ito daw ang siga. Ito daw ang mingas, ang apoy ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. It is the furnace of divine love burning with the fire of the Holy Spirit. I, I think nasabi ko to, hindi ko matandaan kung dito ba sa series ng meditations o sa isang homily sa banal na misa. Okay? Na uh, that fire of love that fills the sacred heart of Jesus, that fire of divine love is none other than the Holy Spirit Himself. Because the Holy Spirit is the love of God poured out into our hearts. Okay? So yung naglalagablab na apoy ng pag-ibig na pumupuspos sa puso ng ating Panginoon, yun ay ang apoy ng Espiritu Santo. Dahil ang Espiritu Santo ay ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na ibinubuhos sa ating mga puso. And that fire cleanses, kindles, and changes into itself all those who desire to be united to it. Okay? Yung apoy na ito, actually, hindi lang siya yung... It, it, the, the fire that fills the sacred heart of Jesus does not simply give you this warmth of love. But remember also that fire cleanses. Fire cleanses, kindles, and changes into itself all those who desire to be united to the sacred heart. So never forget the transformative power of the love of the sacred heart. Remember that the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit warms the chill, true, but it also melts the hardened. Okay? Hindi lang ito yung, it, the, 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 the fire of divine love does not simply give us this warm, fuzzy feeling. Parang, parang ano, comforter, a warm blanket on a cold, rainy night. No. The fire of the divine love in the heart of Jesus is a fire that cleanses. It is a fire that kindles. It is a fire that transforms into itself. Okay? A fire that transforms into itself. So whatever, whatever in us which does not bear semblance to the sacred heart, is transformed into the likeness of the sacred heart. It is burned away. And the heart is transformed into the likeness of the sacred heart. And oftentimes, that is a painful transformation. Just as burning is, faith, is painful, so also transformation is painful. In a word, it is in this adorable heart that all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. 
And that is why Lanspergius tells us, keep yourself close to this divine heart. Lagi daw, na, lagi daw nating panatiling malapit, malapit tayo sa puso ng ating Panginoon. So that neither place, nor society, nor circumstances may hinder you from hastening hither as to a heaven of refuge where you will find nothing but love and fidelity. Huwag daw nating papayagan na ang anumang bagay ay makapagpigil sa atin sa pagtakbo palapit sa ating sa mahal na puso ng Panginoon. Dahil ang puso ng Panginoon ay tanggulan, ito'y muog, ito'y takbuhan, ito ay taguan ng lahat ng mga humahanap sa Kanya. At doon, wala tayong makikita kundi pag-ibig at katapatan. For though the hearts of men may deceive or forsake you and be wanting in sympathy, it is certain that the heart of Jesus will never prove inconstant. Okay? So, madalas, lilinlangin tayo ng puso ng mga tao. Iiwan tayo, pababayaan tayo ng puso ng mga tao. At kadalasan, magkukulang pa sila sa simpatya. Di ba? Ah, uh, For example, how many, uh, how many people in our country and all over the world are currently suffering because of the consequences of this pandemic? Because kadalasan, no, our hearts lack sympathy. Yung simpatia para sa mga taong kailangang maglakad ng malayo para makarating lamang sa trabaho, yung simpatya para sa mga natutulog sa ilalim ng mga tulay, yung simpatya para sa mga walang makain, okay? yung simpatya kadalasan dahil sa sunod-sunod ang nakikita nating pagdurusa ng napakaraming tao, oftentimes, our hearts end up losing sympathy. So, bagamat ang puso ng ibang tao may deceive, may forsake us, or may be lacking in sympathy, the heart of Jesus will never prove inconstant. Ibig sabihin nun, laging maasahan at hindi magbabago ang puso ng ating Panginoon. For Jesus is too faithful and has too great a love for you not to keep you in remembrance. La- ang laki talaga ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon para sa atin hindi niya tayo kalilimutan. Napaka-faithful niya. Di ba, Isaiah 49? Can a mother forget her baby? Or a woman, can she forget the child in her womb? But even if these forget, I will never forget you. I have carved you in the palm of my hand. And the Lord the heart of Jesus will never change. He will always remember. And the pains that He has endured for us prevent His forgetting anything that will complete the work of your salvation. Sa so, Malin Salta, 
sa laki, pa na, sa laki ba naman ng pinagdusa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Hindi mawawala, hindi niya malilimutan ang sinuman na kanyang iniligtas. Kung paano yung alaala ng pagdurusa ng isang ina sa pagluluwal niya sa kanyang anak ay sapat ng dahilan upang hindi niya malimutan ang kanyang anak. Gayun din naman, yung lahat ng mga pagdurusang binata ng ating Panginoon ay hindi niya malilimutan. Hindi niya malilimutan ang sino man sa kanyang iniligtas. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, my Savior, I adore you shedding tears over my sins. Would that I had a fountain of tears in my heart, that I might weep as I ought for the sorrows I have caused thee. Give me grace to bring forth worthy fruits of penance. I adore thee, O King of hearts, who art the delight of heaven and earth. Glory be to the heart of Jesus, King of hearts, May it reign forever over all hearts. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Maraming salamat po for uh, giving time in our to our meditation to this of uh, regard the sacred heart of Jesus. I do hope that our fervor and our devotion for the Lord's heart will always increase and let us share with others the fruits of our meditation. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat.